But first, 10 News begins with that crime alert. Police looking for three drivers who ran over a woman in Linda Vista, killing her, then took off without looking back. Our 10 News reporter Astrid Solorzano is live where this whole thing happened. She sure is, Astrid. People who work at businesses near that crash say this is tragic, but not surprising. They say exactly that. It's not surprising. Let me tell you, we're on Mesa College Drive in Linda Vista Road, and to Linda get to Vista. the other Walk other side, side of Linda Vista, Linda you'd have Vista. to press this button to do it legally like these students are doing. Linda but get this, if you live a little bit east, you have three blocks you have to go all the way to be able to do it again legally. So business owners here say that's exactly the problem. Probably going 50, 60 miles an hour, easy. It's illegal. When people that live on this side of Linda Vista Road will just cross over. And it happens over and over. This is a lot of kids that jaywalk, especially coming from school because they don't want them to wait at the light. Mark Calabrese owns Rocky's Frozen Yogurt and he yeah. says on Linda Vista Road. When we leave her at night, I see probably drunk drivers, speeders, texters. For him, jaywalking, out of the question. And for good reason, because someone last night didn't make it to the other side. Dozens of police cars and the street all blocked off. A little after 1030 Sunday, a woman left for dead. Three drivers were on this busy Linda Vista Road. They hit the 48-year-old, running her over. No one stopped. Aitiana Garland and her sister work across the street. The lady was like on the ground and her legs were broken. And like they were like in like both different ways. She says a sight hard to forget. Garland's mother was waiting in the parking lot and saw the woman moments before the crash. She saw the lady coming out. She was mad. She was about, and then she jaywalked, and that's how they hit her. The victim was leaving the liquor store. Calabrese says a big concern with jaywalkers. At night, there's parked cars all the way up until uh, just right where the donut shop is. So. You don't have a line of sight. A tragic accident with questions left unanswered. It's just too dangerous to cross at night. Now, police told me the descriptions of those three cars are still very vague and they haven't been able to make any arrests. They told me to urge anyone if they saw anything to contact them immediately. Reporting live in Linda Vesta, Astrid Solorzano, 10 News.